Morning everybody. And sorry for running a bit late this morning. I know some of you like to watch before you go to school or go to work to start your day and I apologize for that, but I'm about four and a half Ks into a 14 K trial run for the uh, city to surf, which happens this weekend and it happens in a, in a virtual space. So, um, so I'm just trying to map out a proper course here for 14 Ks and just short of Scott's point at the moment, um, and I started oh, way back around there this morning, around near Newport somewhere. Um, I'll get to, I think it's the Scarborough Pier, and then come back again, and that should be about 14K. Why on earth am I running 14K, or well, run, run walking? My, at my age and with my knees, it's more um, a steady pace, steady walk. Uh, the running just hurts a lot when, <laughs> the next day, and I've got to back up and do this again on Sunday. Well, it reminds us, why, why am I doing it? Because Shah's family's doing it. Her uh, gra grandmother, Enid, turns 100 in January next year, and she's doing it. And she's done it for the last, I think, four, maybe five-ish. I think she started her marathon career at 95. Uh, and she does it to raise money for ADRA um, and things like that. And so the family get behind her and support her and normally we'd go to the event and, and walk with her but this year we can't. It's also a reminder that um, if you don't do regular exercise, even a little bit, anything, then it becomes sedentary, becomes stale and you stop moving and eventually that can lead to a guy like me turning up and others saying nice things over you that you can't hear. What's that got to do with our, our seventh church, the Laodicean church? Everything. See, the Laodicean church, the message that they get is, <coughs> pardon me, that they believe that they're rich in all things and that they have it all together. But these things I have against you, the Lord says, you've fallen asleep, basically. <coughs> As you can tell, didn't bring my glasses, so it's a bit hard for me to read my <laughs> Bible right at the moment. But Jesus is saying that, look, you're, you think you're rich, you think you have it all, you think you have it all together, but you haven't. You're asleep at the wheel. You're, you're going through the motions and you're not exercising anything. You know, what's, what do you call a church that doesn't exercise its faith, that doesn't reach out into its community? Well, it's a club. Clubs get you to sign up, you pay your membership, you do your duties around the club, and every now and then you might get a new person to come and join your club. But most of the time, most clubs uh, that are unsuccessful, uh, particularly as you see around our country, the old fashioned tennis and bowling clubs closing, these are the ones that refuse to adapt to change. These are the ones that refuse to acknowledge there was even change to start with. These are the ones that refuse to acknowledge that they needed to change. And so now, you know, people have stripped their grass away. Property's been sold to developers and that old bowls club's gone. Those that have succeeded have adapted to things like barefoot bowling. You don't have to wear white all the time you turn up. That's just in the case of bowls clubs. What about in the cases of churches that are asleep? Just going through the motions, happy to t pick up one or two here and there. Well, Jesus says it's not good enough. He says, in fact, in, in fact, I'd rather you were hot or cold, because at least you can do something with hot or cold. Hold, hot can keep getting hotter, or it can go the other way. Cold can be warmed up. But Jesus says, you're lukewarm. You're not even worth putting in my mouth. In fact, I'm going to spew you out. What a terrible position for a church to be in, but it's an even worse position for an individual to be in. And I know there are many who, in this time, are struggling unsure and uncertain but the point of the book of revelation is to remind a church and the individuals that it's time to wake up as i said before we've all had smatterings of smyrna or philadelphia in us we've all been thyatira or ephesus let's not just be proud of being laodicean i hear it often enough oh pastor we're in laodicean times as if that's some badge of honor to be proud of it's a warning jesus says wake up Wake up to yourselves, open up, become alive. Allow me to do something with you because you will inherit the throne in the kingdom of heaven. That's an amazing promise. 
from an amazing God. So if you feel like you're asleep, jump into Revelation. That'll wake you up. Or get involved in something. Get excited about something. Get into something. A little bit. The church doesn't need you to do great. It just needs you to do something. Let's pray. Father, just want to thank you this morning for this opportunity to come together. Just pray, Lord, as this day unfolds, this week before us unfolds, I just pray, Lord, that you bless us in it and that, so that we can bless others. And Lord, if we're asleep at the wheel, please nudge us, wake us up, get us moving, Lord. We just pray that you gift each of us where you want us to be, with the skills that we need, your gifting, to do your will, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, I've still got 10K to go. Um, that away. So uh, until I see you tomorrow morning, take care and God bless and I'll see you then.